HPE RAN Automation provides comprehensive infrastructure management and automation capabilities from a central platform. Rafaquat Chaudhry, Chief Technologist, RAN Automation, is here to tell us more. Rafaquat, thank you for being with us today. Thank you very much. So what is driving the change from appliance-based solutions to virtualized disaggregated solutions in the RAN? So 5G changes the game for service providers by enabling new services and business models to help transform their business. However, this requires a shift from monolithic appliance-based solutions to more cloud-native and you know, service-based architectures, we are able to benefit from these uh, open architecture. Uh, to this end, to help our customers achieve openness and embrace open RAN, HP has HP Open RAN stack solution, which comprises of hardware products specialized for RAN Edge, as well as automation project product. Uh, we'll talk to Rebecca to understand more about our hardware product. Yeah, yeah I'm Rebecca Waymeyer and I'm here with the HPE ProLiant DL110 Gen 10 Plus Telco Server for Virtualized Radio Access Network. This is a short depth 17 inch server. It is ruggedized with NEBS Level 3 certification to endure harsh conditions at far edge cell sites. Uh, it is based on third generation Intel Xeon scalable processors with up to a terabyte of memory and eight DIMM slots, almost eight terabytes of storage via NVMe M.2 drives, redundant power supplies with both AC and DC power options, and dense I.O. here at the front with three full height half length PCIe Gen 4 by 16 slots and a by 16 OCP slot for all your networking and acceleration needs. Speaking of networking and acceleration, we actually have two interesting cards here from Intel. The first is the Intel ACC100 VRAN dedicated accelerator. It allows for offloading of compute intensive layer one FEC processing and it frees up your core CPU for your edge based applications and services. I also have a 4x10 or 4x1025 gig network adapter with timing synchronization and a GNSS header that allows for frequency, phase, and time of day synchronization with a GPS to support high precision timing across your network. And I will hand it back over to Rafakat to talk about the RAN automation software. So when you're planning your organization's RAN evolution journey, you expect this transformation to give you far more flexibility in terms of rolling out the network and how you operate it. Now you should be able to introduce new vendors, uh, introducing uh, innovations and operational efficiency to achieve the desired benefits of the open RAN. Uh, however, this introduces operational complexity and that is something that needs to be uh, tamed and managed uh, in a controlled fashion so that you're able to uh, achieve the desired business benefits of the RAN disaggregation. Uh, HP RAN Automation Solution offers full lifecycle management for the open and disaggregated RAN in terms of deployment of the new infrastructure on the RAN Edge, in terms of uh, automation of the VDU VCU software on that, and using AI to automate the assurance as well as RF configuration and optimization. And here I will show you uh, quickly how we roll out a new site, new infrastructure on the site, how we do different life cycle operations like you know from firmware management all the way to op, uh, you know op, updates and updating an operating system and configuring the network functions. So we can see in our different RAN sites here we are showing in some of our labs we have for example a DL110 system. So for your entire RAN topology for different sites you can see uh, you know, the full inventory of your RAN infrastructure, uh, also the information about, you know, what firmware, what operating system is there, and then also do the routine lifecycle management operations like updating firmware, installing new operating systems, security patches, and also uh, automating the lifecycle of the VNS. So while we, we make changes to the system, we can also, uh, you know, make backups or different uh, configurations and roll back if, if we need to. Uh, we can maintain libraries for firmware as an operating system to, uh, to be maintained so that we can, you know, whenever we need to do an update, we can do uh, a fast update. We can, one of the other things that I want to show you is the, uh, the observability that we maintain for the RAN Edge infrastructure. So you can, uh, you can have uh, continued observability of your RAN Edge 
uh, at the server level, at the component level, also the operating system, as well as aggregate the information to the site, to the region, and also across multiple vendors. So like, for example, here we can see uh, different metrics and, and KPIs for the processor, how this, this is, uh, you know, how a particular RAN site is uh, operating in terms of infrastructure. We're able to correlate this with the similar information from the VDU software that runs on that, also from the radio parameters, and operationalize certain AI use cases to constantly optimize the infrastructure as well as the radio configuration on the, on the edge site. This is our solution that helps our customers manage multi-vendor RAN deployment with a common console, with a common platform, having full, full uh, visibility for the network assets uh, across, the, across the geographies. And uh, thank you very much.